Harry was born completely healthy, normal, lovely baby, full term. And then one day when he was about five months old, um, he woke up and he was sick. Um, so we took him to the GP and the GP just sent us home and it was just a virus. We were just looking at Harry when suddenly he let out the most horrific sound and contorted um, in the most horrible way. And I rushed off to phone an ambulance straight away and thought he must be dying. I'd never seen anything like it. And when we got to hospital, he had another seizure and we were rushed into recess, um, not really knowing what was going on. I was so scared. It happened again the next week and this became a pattern of these regular emergency admissions and these sudden seizures that just kind of came out of the blue. They wouldn't have any warning. And then when he was two and a half, he'd had full panel genetic testing, which showed a mutation in the GABRA1 gene, which is associated with severe epilepsy. And he received a clinical diagnosis of Dravet syndrome, which was devastating, because it's, it's one of the most catastrophic of the epilepsy syndromes um, and has a pretty poor prognosis. He'd been started around seven months on an anti-epileptic, that didn't work terribly well. It got to a point where we'd tried seven different anti-epileptic drugs. Nothing was really working satisfactorily. And so we were offered either the ketogenic diet or VNS was mentioned for the first time. We said yes to being put forward to the epilepsy surgery program at Bristol Children's Hospital. And they were actually very open with us that there were no guarantees you know this wasn't a fix this wasn't a cure but it was an option to explore harry was given a date for surgery before he turned six it was actually quite a quick surgery it was an hour and a half there were no complications and the wounds healed really really quickly and really well as far as side effects go, they've been really minimal. Occasionally we can hear a cough. It's a really distinct dry cough when the VNS is going off a lot, but it doesn't bother Harry at all. It's got an automatic cycle, so it's continuously going off and we are unaware of that. We know from having looked at some of the downloads that it's actually going off quite a bit when Harry's sleeping and it's actually really reassuring that that's kicking in and responding to changes in heart rate it's almost like my night nurse, I guess, and it's helping keep Harry safe. Since it's been switched on, we've had no emergency admissions at all. It's transformed our lives and his life beyond recognition. He's in mainstream school. Um, he's got lots of friends. He's doing lots of things. He goes horse riding, he goes swimming. Um, he's got his 25 meter swimming badge, which I can't believe we were so proud of him. Um, and actually, as a family, we do a lot more. We're not so fright, you know, we're not constantly anticipating seizures. They're not always at the forefront of our minds, and I think we're daring to do a bit more as well. Harry's development has just snowballed. His, his language has really, really come on, his attention, his behaviour. This is a child who, when he started school, couldn't draw a stick person. He was he was so incredibly delayed. Gosh, progression through year two was phenomenal. He was recognising sounds, recognising numbers, he loved the computer and gradually throughout that year he was able to read short sentences. This is helping enormously with socialising as well. He can actually express himself easier. He absolutely loves dance. Harry is now reading books, he's reading sentences, he's writing sentences. Without any help, he can write any number up to 100. So we're really optimistic. I hope that he can stay in mainstream school and I hope that he can just get on with life and just get on with living and enjoying the life that, you know, every, every child deserves. The Harry we have now is well alive. He's cheeky, he's funny, he's, he's actually a really kind, caring little boy. Um, he's an absolute joy to, to be around and we're so proud of him. He's such a resilient little thing and 
he just, when I think about everything he's been through and where he is now, it's, he's just an incredible little boy and I'm, I'm so happy that he had the opportunity to have this device because I can't bear to think where we'd be if he didn't.